People ask me this all the time. And so I'm going to ask you for the audience, what is a Nittany Lion? <laughs> <laughs> you are right. We both do get asked this quite a bit, don't we? So um, the mountain range is here. You know, we're in Happy Valley. It's called Mount Nittany. And uh, the range itself is about 300 million years old, but we know that the white settlers in this area called it Mount Nittany. We know that it predates uh, Penn State University. And it's named for the Nittany lion, of course, uh, the mountain lions that apparently roamed around here till the 1880s. But the fascinating thing is um, folklore. We know that at least over a hundred years ago, uh, one of the people who captured the folklore here claims that Nittany was the name of a Native American princess and that that's where the Nittany came from. Now, you know how it is. Sometimes some folklore is maybe too good to be fact-checked. We can't find historical evidence <laughs> of it, but the Nittany lion is a tribute to the mountain lions that were in Pennsylvania. That's the literal answer. But to me, there's a symbolism. Uh, Walt, you and I are both relatively new grandparents, so I'll tell you, I have my almost two and a half year old grandson on video telling his mom that he saw the Nittany lion. And he goes on to say, well, I call him the Nittany lion as though he came up with it. And she asks him why, and, she sa and he says, uh, I call him the Nittany lion because he's a good Penn Stater. So for all of you, the symbolic metaphoric meaning of a Nittany lion is someone who really embodies the values of Penn State. And that could be the largest living alumni anywhere around. Uh, and of course, incredible alumni like Walt Rakowicz right here today. So that's the Nittany lion. That is the best explanation I have ever heard on that topic. And so all I have to say back to you is we are. <laughs> it's great. You got it. You got it. 